So today we are going to show you, how to make these three title animations, inside the Premiere Pro. Also I will provide 25 modern and cinematic title animations pack. Let's see a quick preview of these titles. And these titles are pretty easy to use. First you have to download these titles and the fonts, under the description link. Inside this titles pack, you will get 25 Magret titles. And these titles are pretty easy to use. So first you have to install all of these fonts. Then open Premiere Pro. And open the Essential Graphics tab. Inside the Essential Graphics tab, click here. Then select Manage Additional Folders and click on Add. Now select this Cinematic Titles folder. And click on OK. Then enable Local. And select this Cinematic Title folder. Now here you can see the preview all of these titles. Now select a title, and just drag and drop it to the timeline. To customize this title, click on Edit. Select this title layer. Now type your text line here. Also, you can customize the text color and text size. Now let's see how to make this cinematic title. So first select the type tool and type your first line in the program window. To customize this text, open the Essential Graphics tab. Under the Essential Graphics tab, click on Edit, and mark all of the text. And here I am using a Cumin Thin font. You can download these fonts, under the description link. And the font size is around 60. Font tracking 100. Then type your second line. And mark this line. For the second line, I am using the No Movement font. And the font size is around 70. Now mark all of the text. Change the paragraph line to center. And increase the baseline 10%. Now adjust the text position, where you think it looks perfect. OK, then move to the Effects tab. And search for Gaussian Blur. Now apply this effect to the text layer. Then go to the Effect Controls tab. Under the Gaussian Blur effect, make a keyframe on the blurriness. And set the blurriness 50%. Then make a keyframe in the opacity. And change the opacity value 0. Now move the 1 or 2 seconds to the right side. Then change the opacity to 100%. And set the blurriness 0. So our animation will be like that. Let's do the same thing for the out animation. So again make keyframes on opacity and blurriness. Then move one second to the right side. Decrease the opacity value 0. And increase the blurriness 50. To make this animation more smooth, click on the opacity drop down icon. And change the curves just like that. So our first animation is done. Let's see the final preview. Now let's go for this animation. And this is a masking animation. So select the type tool, and type your text line, to the program window. Here I am using the Kiona font. And the font size 200. Also the font tracking 200. Then center this text, by using the align tool. In my case, I am going to make a mask, when the boy move over to the text line. So move to the effect controls tab. Under the opacity effect, select this pen tool. And make a keyframe on the mask path. Then zoom in the program window, so we can make it properly. And we just need make a mask around the text part. Then move one or two frames. 
and just adjust the masking point, so your text will be revealed, when the boy is walking. And do it continue, until your text is completely revealed. I just speed up this part, so you don't have to wait. And I have done the masking. So going back to the zoom level to fit. And let's see the final preview. Now let's go for the last one. And this animation is pretty easy to do. So first type your text line to the program window. Here I'm using the rock and roll grunge font. And you can download all of these fonts under the description. Font size around 500, and the font tracking 100. Make it center by using the align tool. And here I am using the darkish red color. Then go to the effects tab, and search for rough and edge. Apply this effect to the text layer. Now go to the effect controls tab. Under the rough and edge effect, make a keyframe on the border, and make the border value 500. Then move 2 seconds forward, and make the border value 0. Now click on the border drop-down icon. Select the last keyframe, and make this curve something like mine. And our animation is done. Let's render it to see the better preview. Then add a growing or burning sound effect under this animation. So that's all for today, if you enjoy these animations, please give me a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe. And if you have any questions, please feel free to ask me on Instagram. I will see you in the next one, have a nice day.